say, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. Hunter, I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Lead the way. Let's do it! Nico will tell you our purpose. Miss Minoru can explain why we're all here. Go on. So, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death. Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism, the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right, emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's staff of one to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange, the ritual? The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, Nay! Doctor Strange, the ritual. How does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. I am done talking about this. But I... Oh. All right. Yes? How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, strains, chants, and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting, and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode. A very small chance. Unlikely. How concerned should I be about exploding? Slightly more than usual. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico. And don't explode. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. <sighs> All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready.
Now, Hunter, tell us what you do. I raced through the Abbey grounds, angry, terrified. It is too late. You are not ready. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot... No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later. That was a hell of a ride, partner. I know I've asked a lot of you recently, dear. Especially when it comes to these little excursions. But there is one more thing you could do to make an old witch happy. If it were not so good to see you again, I might think you were taking advantage of me. Ah, uh, Hunter. You certainly are the product of your environment. Between Sarah and I, I suppose we're just lucky you didn't turn out more cynical. Besides, this might be interesting. Now that the altar is in working order, we just need to reignite my cauldron. How interesting can that be? Your cauldron was always turning with some concoction in the old days. Yes. And how do you think that was possible? It's not just any flame we're talking about here. Maybe you've heard tale of the demon fueling the forge? A fire-breathing demon, no less, blazing as hot as the flames of hell itself. Fortunately, I'll only require a single ember. I can see where this is going. How do I find it? I've enchanted this vessel to protect you from the ember's heat. You should be able to get close enough to retrieve it through one of the old mine tunnels beneath the forge. If you have any trouble, I think you should take Charlie. She's always had a nose for finding things around here. Is a good girl. It is my Charlie girl. Come along, Charlie.
What is it, Charlie? Find something? Goddess of Order approves. This must be an ember from the forge. the ember. The bottle is not even warm. If it were giving off any heat at all, I'd be concerned, given the enchantment on that vessel. Now, let's see if this old girl still works. So I can use the cauldron to brew... things? Essentially, yes. Collect reagents on the Abbey grounds. You'd be surprised what we can make use of. And I just dropped the ingredients in. Is that not dangerous? That's part of the fun, isn't it? And I see you've already found a recipe book. I doubt you'll have any trouble following along. Thank you. 